hole in the rock. Phoenix Zoo. Olivia Black. Um, Justin Black. Oh, I don't have my. I forgot my mask and had to go back to the Jeep to grab it. But now we are on our way to the Phoenix Zoo in Arizona. This is the largest privately owned zoo in the United States on 125 acres of land and your feet will definitely notice it. The zoo is set up on five different trails and more than 3,000 animals. We started on the Arizona Trail that includes wildlife and plant life that is specific to Arizona our first animal, Tom Turkey, did not want to visit with us. They bite though. Oh, he's popping up. Are you getting so pretty? He's like, no, I'm getting pissed. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's making noises. Good settle. Settle down, Tom. Settle down, Thomas. Thomas. Look at those feathers. They have 13 species of rattlesnakes, including one albino. Just like Indiana Jones, I hate snakes. But I think this one was talking to me, just like Harry Potter. Too bad I'm not a parcel tongue. that the animals here were very active or maybe they knew something we didn't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what you doing over there? had a very large savanna for the giraffes and the warthogs were ready to eat, but in all reality, she was just trying to medicate one of them. trail was a long walk up to see the bighorn sheep. By the time we arrived, they were walking away from us around the mountain. This was the largest enclosure I have ever seen at a zoo. Awesome for these animals. You were picking it up like yeah, a... just throwing it around. The Tropics Trail had a beautiful lake with areas to sit and relax. The only problem was the pelicans. Can sit, relax, and watch the pelicans. They were fun to watch, but stunk so bad. So let's move on quickly. Not like the tortoises. 
And the last trail is a children's trail that we actually didn't even go on. They were on the other side of the stinky pelicans, so we decided not to go. The cost of this zoo is 25 for adults, 17 for kids, but there are some extra things to do for an additional cost. Stingray Bay. There is Stingray Bay where you learn about, touch, and feed the stingrays. And then there's camel rides. They kind of look like pony rides. The zoo's website has a fun blog with information about the animals and some video footage of the zoo. If you're planning a trip here, I highly recommend visiting their website first because I know we missed a lot of animals. If you're interested in seeing a lot of animals and getting your steps in, then this is the right zoo to go visit. And of course, as always, if you are liking our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys.